so hello everyone so welcome to this new session so this is the last session of this module so in this session we are going to solve two problems related to signal flow graph so this is the problem that is find the signal flow graph for this uh, sorry for the signal flow graph given determine the transfer function using mason's gain formula so this is the signal flow graph here observe carefully so there are one two three four five six nodes okay so between those nodes we have a certain amount of loops and all the transmissions given here so yeah first let's write all the paths now so let's count how many paths are there so first let's consider this single path first path that is 1 into g1 g2 1 g3 1 so the first path p1 is equal to g1 g2 g3 okay so let's see for one more path whether we have one more path or not so if you look down here so these all paths are not the forward path uh, these are not terminating here so these and all are so here we have one more path upwards here right that is 1 into g4 till here so that is one more forward path g4 so we have only two uh, forward paths here in this case okay which meets the output side so therefore we can say that the value of k is equal to 2 so we have two values for delta 1 and delta 2 okay similarly let's see how many loop gains we have here so the first loop l1 that is equal to g2 right see this is the minor loop here g2 into minus 1 so minus g2 so the second loop here this is one more loop here g3 into minus 1 so minus g3 so one more loop we have here is for h4 so this is a a single loop that is minus h4 so one more loop we are having it yeah see this is one loop g3 h3 g3 into minus h3 right so minus g3 h3 that is one more loop so l5 uh we we are having g3 h2 g2 right from g2 g3 h2 we have this one loop here see g2 g3 h2 so this is one more loop here that is minus g2 g3 h2 so l6 here is g1 g2 g3 and h1 see g1 g2 g g1 g2 g3 and h1 right so that is this is minus h1 so minus g1 g2 g3 h1 so whether we are having one more loop yeah we are having one more loop that is from here g4 h1 see here g4 h1 the outer loop so that is minus g4 into h1 so in total we are having seven loop gains so now let's see the non touching loops first we need to be considering two at a time right non touching loops okay so let's see at two at a time whether there are non touching loops or not yeah we have these two loops right which are non touching that is l1 and l2 right so l1 and l2 are non touching l1 and uh, l4 what's the l4 loop G minus g3 h3 right so l1 and l4 these are also not touching and l1 what is l3 minus h4 the l1 and l3 are also non touching L1 and L7 are also not touching. This is the outer loop. This is L7. These two are also not touching. L2, which is L2 minus G3, right? L2 as well as L3, right? These two also are not touching. Also, L2, which is L2 G3, right? L2 and L7 are also not touching. Yeah. So we have totally six. non touching loops taken two at a time so now let's check whether we have non touching loops taken three at a time okay non touching loops taking three at a time so we are having one th taking three at a time non touching loop that is l1 l2 and l3 right these three loops are also non touching so l1 l2 l3 also we have l1 l2 and the outer loop n7 okay non touching again so L1, L2, L7. So okay, so now we will be calculating for delta one. 
that is uh, 1 minus loop gain which do not touch any forward paths that is 1 minus loop gain which do not touch any forward paths so in this forward path the first forward path is g1 g2 g3 in this all the loops are getting touched so the value is 1 minus 0 that is 1 only so delta 2 that is p2 the uh, forward path here for p2 is minus g4 so in this path there are two non-touching loops which are not uh, touching this forward path that they do they are these two right l1 and l2 so 1 minus l1 plus l2 plus l1 l2 right yeah once for the single uh, loops then after that we are taking two non-touching loops so that's why you are getting the value of delta 1 and delta 2 like this so now by knowing these parameters let's find the transfer function so c of s by r of s is equal to p1 delta 1 right so p1 delta 1 is g1 g2 g3 into 1 delta 1 value is 1 plus p2 delta 2 p2 value is g4 into the value of delta 2 is 1 minus uh, L1 plus L2 plus L1 L2 right the whole divided by 1 minus uh, no, loop gains taken one at a time single that is summation of all the loop gains that is L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 plus L5 plus L6 plus L7 this minus is done now plus all the summation of non-touching loops taking two at a time okay yeah i've written all the non-touching loops taking two at a time minus three at a time that is l1 l2 l3 plus l1 l2 l7 so now the c of s by r of s nothing much to do just uh, substitute the values of all the loops that is l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 l7 and write the final transfer function okay so now I am going to directly write the final answer for you. Since if I substitute this, you might be knowing substituting and writing. That's it. Okay. So now I am just writing. I will be displaying you the final answer. So this would be a final answer right now. So this is the final answer which we are getting here. So please if you want you can refer it down. I have not done much thing here. I have just substituted the values of all the loops here and just simplified and written this equation. That's it. So this is the answer here. Please pause the video and refer this answer and verify whether you have got this answer or not. And uh, if you are getting any uh, different term, please check it out because this is the correct answer. I have cross-checked it twice, thrice. So yeah, this is the answer. So after substituting value of all the loops, you are getting this answer. Okay. So yeah, let's solve one more problem quickly. Okay, so this is the last problem of this module. That is convert the given block diagram into the signal flow graph and find the overall transfer function. So here this is the typical block diagram that they have given. Okay. With all the values of not G1, they have directly given the sum of the constant values. That is 1 by 2s, 1 by 2, 3, 2s, 1 by 6 and this is s here. Okay. Yeah. So now first let's convert this block into the typical signal flow graph. Let's count all the nodes first. That is you need to be considering all the summing points and takeoff points that is 1, 2, 3, 4 okay so that's why we, have, we need to draw 4 nodes now 1, 2, 3, 4 out this is vi, this is v out so this is 1 so this is 1 by 2s this is here 3, 2s and one okay from here to here we have one one uh, loop here which whose value the direction is this side so this is minus one by two from here to here we have one loop that is this direction minus one by six and from here to here again we are going to have one more loop uh, yeah that is again the same value minus 1 by 6 because this minus 1 by 6 is terminating at this summing point 
as well as this summing point okay so that's why minus 1 by 6 and minus 1 by 6 which is with the same direction okay and from this point to this point this point okay we are having minus s okay so why it is minus s because here it is plus s and from here uh, till here it is plus and from this summing point to this it becomes minus so this the i have directly written it like this okay so that's why it is minus s so this is the typical signal flow graph for this signal flow graph now let's write all the paths loop gains and all so first let's write the forward paths so that is p1 so here in this case we are going to have only one single forward path work. we are not having it because here when we move from here all the directions are your opposite so we are going to have only one single forward path that is 1 into 1 by 2s into 3 into 2s right cancel this 2s so p1 is equal to 3 here we are getting right i have just multiplied all the terms here so here 2s 2s would get cancelled 3 1s are 3 so this is one forward path and also k is equal to 1 so we are getting only 1 delta 1 ok so now let's see the loop gains so here l1 so let's see what is l1 1 by 2s into 3 into 2s into minus s right so this is one loop right so let's write that 1 by 2s into 3 into 2s into minus s so again this 2s 2s gets cancelled 3 into minus s is minus 3s so this is the first loop l1 so l2 so l2 is 1 by 2s 3 into minus 1 by 6 right yeah see 1 by 2s into 3 into minus 1 by 6 so this is the second loop 1 by 2s into 3 into minus 1 by 6 so the answer we are getting is uh, minus 3 by 12 s that is 3 1s are 3 4s are so minus 1 by 4 s okay so now let's see the third loop l3 here so this is the third loop here this is the small loop we can see 3 into minus 1 by 6 3 1s are 3 2s are that is minus 1 by 2 so this is the third loop so the final go fourth loop is 3 into 2s into minus 1 by 2 yeah so this is the fourth loop okay 3 into 2s into minus 1 by 2 so cancel these two terms so the answer is minus 3s so these are the four loops uh, we are getting l1 l2 l3 l4 so there are no non-touching loops here in this case so the non-touching loops are zero non-touching loops also delta 1 is equal to 1 minus uh, there are no in the forward path p1 there are no uh, non-touching uh, there are no loops uh, without in, in that forward path all the loops are getting touched so that's why 0 1 minus 0 is 1 so now directly let's write the transfer function c of s by r of s okay is equal to p1 delta 1 divided by 1 minus summation of loop gains right that is the value of p1 is the value of p1 is 3 and delta 1 is 1 divided by 1 minus how many loops are there l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 that is 3 divided by 1 minus substitute all the loop values that is l1 is equal to minus 3s l2 is minus 1 by 4s l3 is minus 1 by 2 and l4 is minus 3s so 3 divided by 1 plus 3s plus 1 by 4s plus 1 by 2 plus 3s so that's equal to after taking the lcm this would be 2ls divided by 
uh, 4s here this after taking lcm 4s plus 2l s squared plus 1 plus 2s plus 2l s squared okay that is 2l s divided by 2l s squared plus 2l s squared is 24 s square 4s plus 2s is 6s plus 1 so this is your final transfer function of this final problem okay so these kind of problems also would might be asked where they won't be given giving any g1 g2 values directly they would be giving any some of the constant numbers yeah so this is the final problem and this ends this module so hope you have uh, hope you are following the videos okay please please share the pl the playlist is available in our channel please uh, share the playlist and uh, watch all the videos related to control system concept till now we have cover covered two modules still more there are three modules very very important modules from the exam point of view which i am going to cover it in a few days so please be updated to the channel and uh, like share subscribe please update it to your nearest friends since exams are coming near okay so please please this subject is very tricky okay yet scorable if you get the hang of this subject this subject is very uh, would be very easy for you and you can score good marks in this subject okay so that's why please so also i have uh, given the detailed explanation so this explanation won't be available anywhere recently not uh, this is the recent version the some of the latest version all the before youtubers have done it but this is the recent uh, version with all the latest methods okay so please be updated to the channel so that's all from the next session we are going to start the third module so thank you